Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy of a wish fulfillment. This is you feeling really good about the outcome of a situation. Something is happening in your favor, and there's this feeling of getting something that you've been wanting, and it feels just as good when you get it as you had hoped it would or how you imagined it to be. There's also a feeling of satisfaction, self-love, being in a good place. Okay, so let's see. We have the Four of Wands, Fire Energy, the Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Hanged Man, Pisces Energy. So you and someone could be achieving a goal in a relationship, or you could be getting into a committed relationship with the Four of Wands. There's an energy of leveling up in your love life, so taking things to the next level. So if you've been single, you could be entering into a relationship. If you're in a relationship, you could be taking it to the next level, defining the relationship, moving in together, getting married, whatever it is for you. But there's this acknowledgement that this next level is going to be work, but it's enjoyable because you're doing it with the person you love. With the hanged man being here, this is something you've been wanting, something you've been patient with. Um, for some of you, it could even be that you're connecting with someone who you were in separation or no contact from, from and you guys are choosing to enter into a relationship. So there was some sort of pause period or a delay and you endured that and you guys are you know, going the next step. So let's clarify these cards. Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. Yeah, you're getting a partner here, someone who's going to be supportive. There is this feeling of having someone like to a cup to be there for, with you, you know, because of the nine of cups, you've been independent, you've been on your own, and it looks like you're you're good with that. You know, you are self-sufficient, you are, you know, you there's a very independent, happy energy. Um, but there's also someone new who's like you're there's an adding an additive to your life now something is being added to your life and it's supportive okay so let's see okay we have the king of wands fire energy the magician mercury energy and the seven of wands fire energy yeah you and someone are choosing to build a relationship here and with the seven of wands very resilient connection there's an energy here of um, both people kind of putting giving it their all um, with the king of wands whoever you're connecting with is a very passionate person and they 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 are the kind of person who backs up their words with actions this is a go-getter this is a person you can trust this is a person who sees and has a vision for the future of this connection like they are they are taking you seriously they're committed to this and with the magician it's like you guys are coming together and you're creating something quite beautiful here okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you um gemini we have adjustments are required third quarter moon yeah it, it, there's this acknowledgement that this next step this whatever is coming here it's it's going to require work but there's this willingness to make it work so let's see Okay, we have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so there's a genuine connection here let's see Okay, we have 
beauty and happiness a thing of beauty is a joy forever so yeah this is someone who like they are the kind who commit for a lifetime there's this feeling of um having staying power you know someone who's really in it to win it someone who won't abandon you when things get hard okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice gemini Okay, we have surrender stubbornness. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.